we are going to learn about the depends on meta argument and depends on is used to create a dependency between two resources uh, where so in short you can say that if you want some resources to be created before any other resource you can use this depends on so let's go and create an instance so to create an instance we just need to type in resource aws underscore instance and the name of instance let's give it server and we want the ami so i'm going to copy the ami ID later on but then instance type is going to be t2.micro and let's uh, define a depends on meta argument here so before defining let's go and create another resource as well so another resource will be aws s3 bucket so resource aws underscore s3 underscore bucket and if you don't know if you're not sure like is th is this a name you can go and search for it on the web like aws s3 terraform and it will give you the exact name which is here so aws s3 bucket is the resource so i'm going to give this name my bucket and inside this i'm just going to pass the bucket name so bucket name should be unique i'm going to pass random 3 4 2 something like this so it doesn't it does not matter now i'm going to pass in the uh, depends on meta argument here so depends on equals to and if you want to see the syntax you can always go here so this was the depends on meta argument official documentation by terraform and if you see here this snippet where um, so they have used the depends on meta argument here and you can see it is in the square brackets so if you want to have it so here they are creating a resource which is aws instance and they want to they want this instance to be created after they create this IAM policy. So the IAM policy is here, which is defined here, and it has this instance has a dependency with it. So if you want to define the depends on, it should be in the square bracket, and here you have to pass in the resource name. So here I want to have the dependency for the AWS S3 bucket, which is my bucket, right? So similarly, you have yeah, already know like how we can define the resource. Just you have to copy it and paste here remove the quotation mark and put a dot in between okay right so here we have the resource name and the name that we have provided for the bucket so let me save it and let's do a terraform plan so the bucket will be created after uh, after creation of ac2 instance no it? the bucket will be created first and then the instance will be created so in the instance so let me just put the emi id i have not put it here so we have a dependency for the instance that we want the instance to be created after we create the s3 bucket oh, right? okay because i think i was thinking the other way around first you create ac2 instance and then no if bucket. i if I put this dependency depends on meta argument in this block, then first the instance would be created, then the S3 bucket would be created. If, if you put there the last one, the last. So see? we are going to do it other way around as well. But well, let's just okay. do it first okay. here. So I'm going to okay. put it the put the AMI ID and save it again and do Terraform plan. So we are going to get the two resources are going to be created. So let's just see. So yeah, we have two resources created and let's start applying it. So this can also be, I'll also give you another example, which we have the code already. So, but first you need to remember that whenever you're using depends on in any of the resources, you are saying that this resource depends on this another resource, which is defined here. Okay. All right. right? All right. So when you create depends on it is going to create the first resource here it says that it depends on s3 bucket so first the s3 bucket would be created and then the instance would be created right oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Okay. So, okay so if you see it is first creating the s3 bucket even though we have defined it below right 
yeah yeah you can yeah, see that yeah, yeah. it has created the s3 bucket and now it is creating the instance which is server so if you go to the terraform documentation again and if you read about it so it says that use depends on to handle hidden resource or module dependencies so here in the example you can see that it is using iam role as a dependency so there can be a case where we are working with ec2 instance and it requires some task to do so for any instance to do some task we need a role attached to it right yeah so unless the role is attached we cannot do any task with the instance that is why we can have a dependency that this instance should be created after we have the role ready or the role created okay. right okay. yeah so we use yeah. this to for hidden dependencies or module dependencies and so if you see okay. that it has created let's go and destroy it again so i'm going to put this depends on in the s3 bucket column now and okay. just take care about this indentation because it is very important in yaml so you have to put it in line and i'm going to remove this one okay. so now i have to i have to tell terraform that i am this bucket should be created only after the instance is created so let me put the resource name so you now know like how to refer to any other resource right just put in the uh, resource name and the actual name that you have given so if i save it and i do terraform apply yeah so it should create s3 bucket only after creating the instance but in this case you don't write a uh, uh, bucket on the top and uh, ec2 in the bottom or no it, it does matter. not it does not matter so now you can ah, okay. see that instance is creating first and then it yeah. would create the s3 bucket but that was not the case earlier so first earlier it was creating yeah. the bucket because so it was creating the bucket first and then we created yeah. the instance so depends depends yeah. on will tell you like uh, unless and until the depends on resource is created we cannot create the other resource so now it is creating the resource a uh, server which is present here yeah. in the depends on column and once it is created it will start creating the s3 bucket so you can see that the server has been created and it has created the bucket after it yeah right so i hope you have you now understand how terraform uh, depends on meta argument works